Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another. Oh, wow! A moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. So let's review the last four episodes. First, all sodas have carbon dioxide dissolved in them. Second, that carbon dioxide wants to get out. Third, Mentos provides a site for nucleation that allows for a dramatic release of all that carbon dioxide. Well, that led to more questions. So we had to do some experiments. We made some more soda geysers and we tested to see whether or not the type of soda affects how high the geyser goes. So now what? Let's go see if the number of Mentos affects the height of the geyser. Sure. You heard them, let's go. Before we begin, remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous. So always have a responsible adult helping you. Remember that we're conducting a controlled experiment. That means we're only changing one variable. In this case, the number of Mentos. So all the sodas tested are stored at the same temperature. We also use the same brand of soda in each test. Finally, we repeat each test and take the average height in case of other variables. Looks like the We're not going to tell you the answer. Go find out for yourself. There's only one thing left to test, and that's... Join us next Saturday for part six of our series, How Does Temperature of the Soda Affect Our Geysers? This has been another Oh Wow Moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play.